information, contact Red Bluff Police. And you are never more than 10 minutes away from local weather here on Action News Now. Let's go over to meteorologist Brian Ramsey in the Storm Tracker Center for a look at what we have in store for this Tuesday. And we've got some pretty cold temperatures out there right now. We've also got some clouds. Here's a live look from Pasquinta. You can see plenty of clouds up in the sky. Those were not there earlier this morning, but they have kind of moved in the area. Current temperatures right now just above freezing in Redding, Red Bluff, Corning, Orland, and Willows. 39 and 40, a little warmer uh, in Butte County. As we go into the foothill locations, Mineral 37, Megalia 37, and then teens in the mountains, 19 degrees right now in Susanville, 15 degrees right now in in Chester. We're looking at 20s right now in Trinity County and in Siskiyou County, but notice these temperatures in the valley. 34 degrees in Redding, 34 in Corning. Corning was at 32 degrees and Red Bluff was at 33 degrees, but now we're getting a little warmer, and that's because we have these clouds that are beginning to move into the area. So notice clear skies earlier this morning, and then how those high clouds moved in. That's actually causing the temperatures to slightly warm this morning, so I believe if you walk outside, the temperatures aren't going to get any colder than they are now. They're only going to continue to warm. As we go to the highs today, they're still not going to be very warm today, relatively mild yet again. Highs mainly in the low 50s today in the valley, and highs just above freezing in the Sierra, and then 40s. If you're in Trinity County or in Siskiyou County, as for a look at your future cast, we're not expecting any rain today, but that cloud cover will stick around for the majority of your afternoon. Once we go into the evening hours, the clouds will begin to clear. You'll kind of see that clear slot of air. And then once we go to tomorrow morning, overnight, tonight into tomorrow morning. That's when rain will begin to move into the area. We'll see that rain impacting the valley once we get to around sunrise. However, before sunrise, it's going to be cold enough for snow to fall below 1,000 feet. So this includes the city of Reading. We are looking at the possibility of flurries, but we're not expecting extreme accumulations of snow because once the sun rises, those snow levels rise to 3,000 to 4,000 feet. Um, but we could still see some flurries in Reading before sunrise, so keep an eye out for that. As for that, we're going to see scattered showers across the day tomorrow. Once we go into the afternoon, the showers do begin to clear, but you could still see some leftover snow in the Sierra. And then once we go to tomorrow, we're looking at, or once we go to Thursday, we're looking at the chance for some more showers uh, farther north in Siskiyou County or Shasta County or Modoc County. It's also National Maple Syrup Day today, so we're not going to be seeing any rain today, but... It will be very cool, so you maybe get those warm pancakes smothered in some yummy maple syrup. High today, 53 degrees, so relatively cool for today. But again, those clouds will be sticking around for much of your day until you get to the evening hours. Now, this morning, even though the temperatures are beginning to warm, we're still seeing frost across the area, so be, keep an eye out for that patchy frost. Make sure to have the windshield scraper ready to go to scrape off the windshield or the defroster turned on ahead of time. Once we go to Wednesday... Tomorrow, that's when we see the chance of rain moving into the area. By Thursday, we still have a 30% chance of rain. Then we do hit a dry day on Friday before the next big wet system moves in on Saturday with a 70% chance of rain. You could still see some scattered showers on Sunday, but the rain does begin to move out once we get to Monday. As for Redding, a high of 51 degrees for today as well. Again, frost is still possible in Redding and then could see a few flurries before sunrise. Uh, for tomorrow in Redding. After the sun rises, j mainly just showers. And then once we go to Thursday, the showers do become a little more scattered. You could see a stray shower on Friday, but mainly just mountain locations will see that rain on Friday. And then once we go to Saturday, that next system moves into the area, bringing us widespread rain on Saturday, more rain on Sunday, and then the possibility of even some more scattered showers by Monday. Julia, back to you. Budget surplus. One local city has additional dollars. What that